Hi there. In today's video, I'm going to show you a Google Collab tutorial for beginners. Let's get started. Okay, so what you want to do is open up a web browser and you're going to search up Google Collab in the search bar. And the first link here, it says Google Collab. Okay, Google Collab. Collab notebooks execute code on Google's cloud servers, meaning you can leverage the power of Google hardware, including GPUs and TPUs. All right, so we're going to click on that link. Now it says, welcome to Collab. And there's one thing that you need to keep in mind is if you're going to open up your browser and then go to Google Collab, you have to make sure that your browser is linked to your Google account so that this website can open up your Collab account automatically. So if you go to this website and your web browser is not linked to your Google account, it's going to ask you to sign into your Google account, which can be a little bit tedious. So I would recommend linking your Google account to your web browser so that uh, it's a little bit stress-free. And as you can see here, it has automatically opened up a notebook. So it says here, open notebook. And there are different things here on the left side. We have examples, recent, Google Drive, GitHub, and upload. So what I would recommend is you go to examples first. And as you can see here, there are different external links on the right side. Overview of collab features, markdown guide, charts and collab, external data, drive sheets, and cloud storage. So I would recommend going through all of these just so you can get a clear understanding of Google Collab. So for example, overview of collab features, I want to see what the new features are. So I'm going to go to the external link. I'm going to click on that, then wait a bit. So now it says cells. A notebook is a list of cells. Cells contain either explanatory text or executable code, and then code cells, text cells. So it just gives you a lot of information about the things and the features of Google Collab, which is really useful. And then if you want to open up another one, I'm going to select that, Markdown Guide. Then it gives us like a detailed explanation of what is Markdown, so you can read all of that. Bold text, italicized text, monospace, and whatnot. Okay, that's pretty cool. So then we're going to go back. So now if we go to the recent option here, it's going to show you the recent collab documents that you recently opened and uh, the ones that you created. So you're going to find them here. And if you want to delete them, select them, then click on the delete icon here. And if we go to Drive, so right now it is currently empty, but then once you've linked your Google Drive and you created a few notebooks, it's going to appear here. So now if we go to GitHub, what you're going to do here is you're going to go to GitHub on, uh, you're going to go to the website and you're going to get the URLs of those notebooks and you're going to add them here so that you can add the notebooks from GitHub to your Google Collab. So let's say that you created a few notebooks on your computer. So then what you can do is you can go here, upload, and then you're going to click on browse and then select the file and it's going to be added here. So now to create a new notebook, we're going to go to the bottom left and we have the option here, this blue button, which says plus new notebook. So we're going to select that. And as you can see here, it has opened up a nice little notebook for us. So it's a fresh one. So let's say that you want to change the title of the notebook. So you can just click on that. And you can rename it. I'm going to call it Future Notebook. Okay, so now we're done changing the name of our notebook. And if we go here, it says Start Coding or Generate with AI. So if we click on this, it says Collab um, Generative AI. This notice in our privacy policy. So you can read the privacy policy. Click on Next. Okay, so then agree to the terms and service and then finish. So as you can see here, it's going to use AI to generate a few codes for you. So that's pretty good. So these are the two tabs of cell plus code and plus text. So if you want to add in a few text, you can just select that if you want to. Okay, that's really great. So it says there, start coding or generate with AI. Then it says waiting right there. So you can just start coding. So if we go to the left side of the screen, we have different options. We have table of contents. Then we have find and replace and we have variables. So let's say that you want to change a few codes. You want to replace them or a few words. You can just go and select this if you want to. And then you can um, type in the thing that you want to change or replace. And then replace it with the new thing that you want to replace it with. And then it's going to find it and then replace it for you. So that's awesome. So then we have other things here. It says files and code snippets. Command palette. And then we have terminal. And there you go. If this video helped you out, then please leave a like. 
and consider subscribing. It's free and it helps the channel to make more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.